Couple of things before we actually dive into the welding of it. 110 or 220, and as you can see, it's actually got the 220 adapter. I do like it when it's the other way around, but that's not a deal breaker. Very common ground clamp. Uh, I've actually seen this on almost all of the recent welders I've gotten. Uh, I do like how it has the braided copper band between the two connections. Pretty common MIG torch, nothing special about it. Uh, it does have a Euro style connection, which I'm actually starting to like a little more than the others. Just one connection, screw it on, and you're done. I thought the stinger that came with my prime weld was nice and beefy. Well, check out this one. It, uh, it definitely takes the cake for an, a beefy electro holder. I don't think you'll have any issues with this. Side note, not sponsored, but I just love the new Milwaukee uh, utility knives. Um, anyway, I picked up a couple and I love them. You might have a good eye and notice that this is a larger 50 dins connection. Um, it's pretty common to see 25 or 50. Only issue that you'll run into is you'll notice there's no TIG torch. This I bought separate. And for some reason, when you search, you know, a manual valve TIG torch with a 50 uh, dins connection, they're a lot more expensive. So what I did was I bought a manual valve 17V. Uh, TIG torch with a 25 dense connections and then I bought just some um, spare 50 connections Swapped it out and it will get you TIG welding in no time They do throw in a couple extra consumables tips and nozzles and a bucket load of rollers So they got you covered. Let's start with MIG so you can manually choose your uh, voltage or your wire speed Take note, that is meters per minute. Along with that, you can actually choose either a two touch, four touch, or your pulse mode. So let's kick on up over to your uh, MMA or stick welding. Pretty much voltage does nothing. All you care about is your amperage. That's your only, uh, that's your only choice there. Likewise with TIG, you only get an amperage adjustment. Um, continuing on down, You've got the MIG. You've noticed that there is the um, little MIG symbol, but that's a spool gun. So yes, it is spool gun ready. You can do aluminum with this guy. I don't have the spool gun, so I'm not gonna test that out. And then let's come back over to MIG. Um, I didn't show you where to actually go to, um, let's see here, to your flux. So right here on this panel, in the MIG mode, you'll come over to your flux, and likewise, you can kind of change and go back now, even though we are still in the synergy mode, you can actually still adjust um, those settings up and down within that mode itself. Lastly, the knob on the end is for inductance. I don't usually mess around with it too much. Keep it right in the middle. The machine doesn't have that great of suggested settings. So for the MIG, I did a whole bunch of testing, just throwing down a bunch of bead on plate to see how it turned out.
the welds didn't turn out too bad. You know, I, I didn't focus too much on the TIG, just mostly because, you know, I'm still practicing. Either way, haven't mentioned a uh, warranty, and it actually has a pretty good one, better than the 90-day Harbor Freight. It's got a one year, uh, and I think a 30 or 60-day money-back guarantee. So if you don't even like it, return the whole thing and get your money back. Now, there's really just one or two maybe little picky things if you wanna, you know, dive into stuff. The wire speed output is in meters per minute, not inches, but there's nothing really that's a game changer or a deal breaker. And it's priced just below, you know, the old, the unlimited 200 uh, titaniums. And I think this is probably equally as powerful and good um, as that. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll be seeing a little more of our captain uh, around the garage. That's all for this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.